actually. I kind of forgot. Anyways, so yeah. Okay. Let's get on. Let me put my clips in. Sorry, my mom and dad had called me to go clean up after we were making dinner. So I'll just put it in here. I'm gonna take, should I do put like two pieces of hair back? I think that's kind of cuter than keeping the other thing. Also, if you look in my eyes, you can see like the ring light in my eyes. So I thought like that was really. No, well, I'm put my hair to my the front of my face just because I don't like. I honestly need to tie some new hair stuff. So like, y'all just be seeing me use my hair all the way back. Anyways, so yeah, I'm gonna be using this skin illuminating, these skin illuminating drops. I have powder on my hands. Okay, skin illuminating drops. So you just get the oh, cause this has powder on it. Okay, so, okay, does this have? These are an eliminating skin enhancer, so it brings out your skin and all that. So super good. It's like really like this thing. It's worth your ten dollars. Like I'm just worth your ten dollars. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna put it all over my face. How do you find it? Okay, I'm gonna tell my sister my YouTube channel name, and then I'll be back. Okay, everybody had to go get my charger, so yeah. But anyways, I'm gonna be starting off with my eyebrows. So that's how my eyebrows are looking from the start. Okay, so okay, so I'm gonna be using uh what I've been using forever, just the brow this way. I got this off Amazon like a while back. Anyway, this is brow powder and brow pomade. And this brush, I got a set of these off of Amazon too. So first I do is I um I like shape my brows the way that I want them, and then I fill in the ends. Like that's literally about what I should fill in. But if you aren't, if y'all are lucky, do not mind this. Okay? I don't know what it is, but that's the problem right now. That's what I'm having. So. You know, what can we do about it? It's everyday life. Okay, so I'm gonna get some brow powder. And I hope y'all can see me, so. Let's fill in the ends of my brows. Just a little, not like too much. <laughs> okay, so I just filled them in a little bit. I'm gonna fill in this eyebrow here, this little bit. You know, like, no so I just put it in like that, and then they look really good. Finally. Oh, shoot. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get some eyebrow trim on these. Okay, so I'm getting eyebrow gel, and this is just the NYX Control Freak eyebrow gel. I got this off of, I got this off of Amazon. I've been getting a lot of makeup off Amazon recently, so. Okay, so I just like kind of situated my eyebrow, so it looks really good. I need to go with my beauty blender, so I'm gonna have to go do that in a minute. And then, so what you want to do if you want to do your eyebrows and make them look natural, you're gonna brush them all the way like that to your natural shape, and then the front go like that, and then just like move it to the side. And then like these hairs in the front are going out, so you can see that. But I'm, so I'm gonna pull out my beauty blender real quick. Let me tell you about this really good concealer that I've been using for a while now. Because I got them on sale, so that's why I got them. Whatever, so. You know, always gotta get stuff on sale. Yeah, I got two of them. Two, because they're the best. So I just got this, and then I have this special brush that I use to get into my eyebrows. I don't even do actually, but I like this one a little bit more than my other one. Um, yeah. 
So, okay. So, what you want to do for your eyebrows or whatever you need. Oh my god. Hopefully it didn't fall off. Okay. Hey, my vanity and all my perfumes up there started shaking. Okay, that's so bad. But anyways, so what you want to do is you want to get your concealer on your brush like that. What you want to do? Okay, I'm going to show you, okay? You want to outline the eyebrow first. Don't worry about doing anything else. Just take it and really follow like the natural shape of your eyebrow and then that's literally about it and then you can move I'm not trying focusing it looks so white okay when you go up there it looks white so then you just want to bring it down to your eyelid because I'm doing eyeshadow so, so I'm bringing it down you don't have to bring it down if you don't want to but I just chose to bring it down it looks better like that and I'm gonna do eyeshadow because you know what kind of video is it if you don't do a bomb eyeshadow look? Then the same I'm gonna do the other eyebrow. I did really fast, I don't know. But I just got used to doing my eyebrows because literally I'll go somewhere. If I'm going somewhere like just for the day or something, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. Like that's like the main thing I like. I like doing my eyebrows and mascara. And I can leave the house fine like that. I don't have to do a full face or anything. Just that. And I'll be fine. Okay. So I'm going to have this other brush. Let me see. My whole brushes are over there. So i got to like find a way to get them out of there real quick. And have to oh. Okay. So that's connected to that. So we'll just fix. It's so heavy. Alright. So then I get this brush. Yeah. Let's look for her real quick. I don't know if it's right here, if it's not here. Let's see where it's uh, Okay, it's right here. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to... I just follow the line and blend it out a little bit with this brush. It just makes it a little easier for the beauty blender to blend out. So I yeah. just blend this out, blend the other one out. And I honestly do bring it down all the way down my nose. Then I'll bring... I'll bring it up like that. Like up like that. So now I get my beauty blender and blend it out. My mirror is this way. So I'm looking that way, guys. Okay. I'm going to blend my concealer out. And then I'll show you how to do the top of your eyebrow. How to make them look super natural. You never seen it. Because I know I'm looking a little hectic right now. But it's just because it's going to be nice at all. Okay, so... Should we do eyeshadow or should we do a natural makeup look? Because I feel like we always do that. So maybe we should do just natural with it. Okay, we'll just do natural like it. Because I don't know. Or maybe we'll just do glam because I haven't did glam in forever. Okay, so what you want to do with your beauty blender in the front. So what you're going to do is you're going to get it and just go like that to the front of your eyebrow. Just make it more like a little messy in the front so that you look a little more in. Oh, that's what I do. I don't know if she's not doing anything else, but that's what I do. Then I'll get my spoolie and just fix it up a little bit because, you know, doing all of that makes them, like, mess up a little bit. And it looks really good just over here. I can just do, like, a little more blender. Okay. I mean, that's how they're looking. Just the top part I have to do, but I'm going to get powder, and the powder that I've been using is... Airspun. I've been using this powder for a long time. If I, di if I don't use this one, I usually use this one on my eyes just because this one's more lighter and like wider than this one. So that's why I like using this one better on my eyes. So yeah, I just get a little bit on my little cap and then I get this brush. This brush I've had for... It's by Rose Techniques, and it's literally like the best brush ever, if I can find it. Here, it's literally the best eyeshadow setting brush ever. Eyeshadow set, I meant setting brush. Literally the best setting brush ever. Then, then I go on the top. Now I do it down, I do my top of my eyebrow like that. Like and I'll fix them, you know, fix them up a little bit. It don't hurt anybody to 
No, just go back and fix your eyebrows and make sure they're still looking good or whatever. So then, for the top of my eyebrows, I get my foundation. And honestly, I've been using so much foundations. I use the CoverGirl, I use the Fit Me, and I also use the e.l.f. I mix all three of them together. I don't know just what I enjoy doing, mixing them up. But for my eyebrows, since my forehead is dark, I like using the darkest one I have. And the darkest one I have is actually the Fit Me. So I'm going to go ahead and take the Fit Me and put it and just conceal the top of my eyebrow with it. The same brush that I concealed, that one was, I'm just going to go take it like that and just conceal the top. What you just want to do is stay away from like, don't get too close to like it, like don't get too close to your eyebrow like you do the bottom of your eyebrow. This will just go a little faster than, after my eyebrows are done, it'll go a lot faster. I just do my, I just take really long time on, I just take a really long time with my eyebrows, so that's long, but. Okay, so I did it like that. Then I'm going to go ahead and take this other same brush as this one, and I'm going to blend it out. Beauty blender, and blend it out again. Like that. This time I'll blend it up a little bit. the eyebrow fully again okay like that don't mind my forehead it has the uh, concealer on it so then i'm not gonna be doing that much with my eyes i'm just gonna leave them like that then for my face i have been using for the primer i've been using the baby skin baby skin instant pore eraser huh? primer this is the best primer i've ever got before so i put one right here on my nose, and my nose is very dry. And I do it right here underneath my nose, so it can like smooth it out. And then I do wherever I have um, a, a problem, right there I have a problem, and here I have a problem, just to smooth it out. And then I just blend it on my finger. It literally makes your skin feel so smooth. When I tell y'all so smooth, I mean so smooth. Okay. Okay, so when I do like that, do my nose. I'll do my forehead sometimes. My forehead, I really don't seem to put that much makeup on, so that's why I really don't do it. So what I'll do is I'll get my found I'll get my concealer stick. I get my concealer stick. I do one marker here and one marker here. Like that. One marker right here and one marker right there. Yeah. Do the bottom on my chin. Do the side of my mouth. I always do that. I don't know why. I do the of my. I just do my nose right there. I don't do that much. And then, yeah, that's usually what I tend to do. And then I take the darkest foundation I have, which is the Fit Me. I don't know why they're all in like the same beige, but the Fit Me is really darker than the other ones. So that's like a kind of a thing. I uh, take this foundation and I just put it in the spots where I didn't put the the concealer at. And then I literally blend them in together. Put them in the spots where I didn't put concealer at. Do the same over here. Okay, then I'll go ahead and add a little bit of e.l.f. because this is a little too dark for me. So I'll add a little bit of the e.l.f. concealer. And this, I don't know if this is a camel con I mean, the camel foundation. I don't know what it said on there, but I know it's like launched whatever the camel is launched. The camel concealer. So I just mix a little bit of that with there, and it makes like the perfect shade. Like I literally mix them together. Makes like my perfect skin, my perfect foundation shade. I do them this way, just mix it up. So then what I do is I get my beauty blender. First I do is my eyes. So I blend out my eyes real quick. I know a lot of people don't like doing it with the beauty blender and like 
doing it with a brush, but whatever you prefer to blend it out with. I prefer to blend it out with a beauty blender because I feel like it gets blended out more, but you know, whatever you want to do, do it. Like I always say, like, I don't think there is a right and wrong way to do makeup. If you want to do your makeup a certain way, and you like the way you're doing your makeup like that, then just keep rolling with it. And if somebody tells you otherwise, well then just call me. <laughs> but, no. I feel like people always judging people because they like putting on makeup. Well, no, we put on makeup because we want to. Because we want something to do. We don't put makeup to look good for you. Because like, you're ugly. What is it? This brown camera. What color is it? Dark. Oh no, it's more um, than that. Mm-hmm. And GT 909 W. Oh, I guess I'll use it to do more brow posts later. Okay, so then I just set my face. I just did this. And I'll go ahead and take my setting spray and I'll push in the setting spray with my foundation. So the setting spray I've been using is the Maybelline Lasting Fix setting spray. So you just do three squirts like that and my face is wet from it. So what I do is I get my beauty blender and just push in the thing with the foundation so we can just, you know, get get it get it in there and get it secured yeah this is the best one and then for my lips I just get my makeup cloth that I got from art and I just do my lips because I don't like my lips to be full of makeup I don't like that and I'll do my, I just like kind of like some you can pull that back and get it Let's just put on some lip gloss so we don't see our lips like this. The lip gloss I'm using is the CoverGirl one. This is the best one. This little one, this little girl one. Literally moisturize your lips like crazy. Looks good. Okay. So then, I've been kind of switching up with my bronzer. I've been using. The bronze palette from ELF, or I've been using the LA colors, but I've been kind of liking the one from ELF recently. Look at this. This little American broke, but has two like non glitter shades and then two glitter shades. So I'm not really a fan of the glitter ones. I feel like they're kind of like highlights because they're super pigmented and everything. But I will go ahead and mix both of the non glitter shades and just bronze my face a little bit. Like, like honestly super bronzy which we like for summer time do you know summer's almost over like that i'm gonna do the other side huh? so that's how it's looking like that i might go ahead and yeah. i usually just go bring it up like that a little bit because Come on, I just like really bronze have, like, kind of way that I think. Yeah. And then I'll go back and go, you know, fix whatever I need to do later on. But we'll do this side first. I think I need one, another one of these. <laughs> okay, so after you're done with that, you're going to take your powder, yeah. any powder of your choice that you like yeah. using. I just like this one because it's huh? lighter than my other one, so I get my brush and then my beauty blender and just create like a light line. Yeah, not, too. not too like cakey or whatever, but I don't like that. Like that. And those are the other side. This one needs a little bit more than that one, though. 
Like, there's a lot in there, just don't want to come out. Okay, finally some came out. Okay, so that's how I'm doing it. Then I'm just going to take the shade and bring it like that and just kind of round down my cheeks a little bit more because I really like it. Bronze, like super bronze, I like it like that. So I'll put some on my nose sometimes if I'm really like feeling like a bronze kind of look today. I really put some on my nose, like literally. And it's this shade right here, like this one is the bronze one. But I'm trying to like hide that little thing, but like, what can you do? It's natural, it's natural. Like, what can you do about it? Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and take. I get my, my blush, but I fit me blush, and this is in the color Coral, so that's what I want to do. It looks really good, just a little bit, you know, it's okay. Taking my blush, where's my brush at? I don't know where to put this down. This one right here. It's just marble, let me show you. I literally love this set. I got this from the dollar store here, and this is marble one. brush set. I think it came with like four or five, so... Maybe more, I don't remember. Um, I just love this. My nose. I do my nose. It's not really picking it up on camera, but like it's like super, super duper brown. Okay, then for my, my eyes, I really don't be putting on nothing like that anymore. Like I used to, I used to wear like lashes. I haven't really been feeling lashes lately. So what I do is I take my... I'll take my brown powder, eyebrow powder, like this one right here, and I'll do like a little baby wing. That's what I do. Literally, that's what I do. The other side, hold on, I put that. Okay, that's how they're looking. It looks a little bit bad, but it's fine. Like I said, I really don't even care. I'm literally just doing this for y'all, so I'm not even going to go anywhere. Okay, so then the mascara that I've been using, I haven't been able to go to Ultra or Sephora. So I actually had to pick up a mascara from my town. And a, we only have a Dollar General and a, and a Family Dollar in my town. So, like, what can you get? So if y'all have any good, like, drugs, like Dollar General and Family Dollar mascaras, Please let me know because like, or like a dupe to the better than you know what one. Because I know there has to be a dupe to that one. Like that. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get a key tip to clean under my eye right there. I have a little dot situation, so we're just gonna go ahead and clean that up. Where's my key tip, guys? You can't have that. Can't have that rolling around here. I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna fix this side of here. Okay, guys. So yeah, let's dust off this powder and then I'll take some cute pictures and do like a natural makeup look on it. Like this. Does this all? Uh, I just love bronzer, like, I don't know why, but I literally, like, love bronzer now. It's, like, putting it everywhere, so it's kind of bad. Anyway, so then we're going to get... Oh, wow. Okay, I have a... This is the same bronze palette that we get. I'm going to go ahead and get my MAC uh, highlight brush. I'm going to get the light shade, which I believe is this one here, so we're just going to get this light shade. And just go right here, like girl, 
Can you believe I'm like come back to this man? This highlight. Like y'all need to invest. If y'all are doing makeup at home and y'all really don't want to spend that much money, invest in Elf. I'm telling y'all right now, invest in Elf. Like I started off with Elf. I started off with drugstore makeup. Like so yeah. If y'all want some high end makeup, which is not too expensive, your best bet is Elf. I'm telling y'all. Anyway, so if you like my channel today, if you like my video today, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. This is the look, eyes, the bronzer, the highlight. And yeah, I'm going to take some good pictures for y'all so I can post. But yeah, if you like today's video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll get back to y'all next time. Is it going to go?